Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, September 17, 2008. This morning I'd like to go through how you can write code in the debugger even though you're in the middle of fixing something that didn't really exist yet. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at this small class here. Counter, instance variable of count, and an initialized method that sets the count to zero. Alright, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and test that out. Counter, new, add one. Now the add one method doesn't exist yet, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll do an inspect to see what the answer that comes back from that is. And as expected, we get a debugger. So we'll go through, bring this up, and now what we'll do is something interesting. If we go here to correct, you'll notice there's a define method option. So we'll go ahead and select that. Notice what it does now. It goes ahead and puts an add one method in my class for me and asks me to start writing it. So let's just write that to self count self count plus one. Now let's go ahead and hit that. And sure enough, it now completes and finishes up by giving me the answer. So that's interesting. Let's go ahead and we'll write another method. Let's go ahead and write subtract1, and we'll make a common kind of error here. We'll forget what we called the variable, and we'll do this, self counter colon self count plus 1. We'll just go ahead and blow through the error, being the typical programmer, and we'll start writing this, subtract1. Now let's try inspecting that, and sure enough that breaks as well, because it doesn't understand this counter colon method, so let's debug that. Now we come in here, we go down to the code we recognize, and we see it doesn't understand this. So we'll go ahead and fix that by accepting. Notice what happens to the stack, rewinds it. Now we do the continue, and there it goes. Off, and we're off to the races. So you can see that you can write code in the debugger that didn't exist, actually have the debugger define a stub for you, and then if you make a typo type mistake, you can have the debugger find that and fix it and just keep going. The nice thing about this is, if you're in the middle of code that's kind of complicated, you don't have to keep all the state information in your head trying desperately to figure out what the state of some set of variables would be when you get to that code. You can just let the system break at that point and look those variables over for yourself. So, hope you enjoyed that, and until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.